Hello everyone, welcome to Dakshina E Classroom program. In today's class, we are going to start a new chapter and that is called Surface Tension. Before that, we studied fluid mechanics. In fluid mechanics, we talked about fluid. We understood what is exactly fluid. And then broadly, we discussed about like two ways, like when fluid is at rest, that is called hydrostatics. So we understood that when fluid or mainly like it's liquid, when it is at rest, then how it behave pressure how it acts why pressure it act actually and all those things some laws relations and all that similarly when fluid is flowing through a pipe or when it's in motion actually then study of all that like about fluid we call that fluid dynamics or hydrodynamics basically we discussed about that too is it so in that way we like we broadly like discussed about fluid and we studied we call that fluid mechanics next things this surface tension is also related to fluid or you can say related to liquid so this is also property of liquid when it is at rest in this chapter we will try to understand what is exactly surface tension and how with the help of physics behind this how the concept of surface tension how we can understand different phenomena that happen in real life how we can correlate it right simple things we will try to understand a few more concepts so that like I am able to write it here, right? Physics, surface tension. Why? Is it? You will understand the physics behind it. You know, actually, like, uh, if I am writing here and like, if these, uh, this ink is not sticking to the board, what will happen? I will not be able to write. Why it is it sticking? Because of the molecules of ink is getting attacked, attracted towards the molecules of this white board. So, because the intermolecular force of attraction between ink molecules and this white board i am able to write whatever i am writing the ink is sticking to the board understanding so similarly there are many things actually which we can understand once we understand the physics of surface tension okay so let's continue with that uh, mainly like uh, if i just tell you then we will talk about what is exactly surface tension we will try to understand surface tension phenomena at molecular level why the liquid has this property surface tension is also property of liquid when it is at rest and some phenomena that is capillarity some bubbles and excess pressure is it and you might have uh, even like uh, if, uh, observed sometime right then the oil drop or like drop sometime it's like in this shape sometime it's spread on the surface why those different behaviors are there you will be able to understand the physics behind this you will be able to understand these things from like scientific point of view and uh, have you ever observed that um, what drops or raindrops they are spherical in shape why they are spherical why they are the shape is not something else the reason for that is also surface tension but why you will understand that a little bit better okay so let's continue let's start the topic surface tension without any delay i hope you will enjoy this chapter enjoy this part it's more of theoretical i will try to cover the things which are important for your exam for your like uh, is it subject which is in our syllabus i'm not going to discuss everything about surface tension right that is not our objective also we will focus only on those topics those points which are important for us from our exam point of view from our syllabus which are in our syllabus okay so let me state uh, start this directly so first i will be defining the term that is called intermolecular force what is intermolecular force i think you must be even quite a bit aware of this con topic this concept intermolecular force you must be knowing that a substance is there it exists in three states solid liquid and gas you know the reason because of intermolecular force the states of substance is it phases three phases that is because of intermolecular force so when intermolecular force intermolecular force means it is a force between molecules or atoms we simply call that intermolecular force so when the forces between molecules is quite strong is they are still sticking together not ready to move then like fixed is it then the substance will be in solid state solid phase 
when intermolecular force between the molecules of a substance is less little less compared to solid they are able to move relatively little bit then substance exists in liquid form when the intermolecular force between atoms and molecules of substance is quite less or you can say very less they are not able to like attract much then it exists in the form of gas right that is the thing so means you must be understanding like yes they are exist intermolecular force right so let me first define that intermolecular force the force of attraction or repulsion between molecules or atoms actually is called intermolecular force right and you must be even like agreeing with that that yes intermolecular force does exist like because of intermolecular force only like we have different substances solid liquid gas all, all these things like i mean like you can see universe is existing because of these things and they are electromagnetic uh, like in nature intermolecular forces so like intermolecular forces we can like categorize it from different point of view but i'm going to categorize it based on the molecules whether it's like same type of molecules same type of atoms or different types is it so based on types of molecules intermolecular forces are categorized into two category what is that first is cohesive force and next one is adhesive force right what is cohesive force what is adhesive force that is also let me just explain you so first one is cohesive force the intermolecular force between molecules of same medium or you can write intermolecular force between same type of molecules is it or you can say intermolecular force between same type of molecules is called cohesive force right <clears throat> simple example for cohesive force is like molecular like force between water molecules force of attraction force between molecules of oil force between molecules of mercury force between like we have different substances are there right so force like we have this glass so in this situation like why glass is existing because the molecules of glass are attracting and they are still sticking and fixed there so that is there is also force between molecules of this glass is it molecules of steel so all these are example of intermolecular force of or we can say cohesive force 
one more simple example that you can feel have you ever tried actually like uh, on some maybe oily surface two drops of waters are there let's say at some separation when you are trying to bring them together is it when they comes a little bit closer right they are just touching then immediately they collapse like that actually fast is it that is because of intermolecular force or cohesive force between water molecules so once they come closer the force basically like activated because once they are like far then it will not be like activated means intermolecular force it has some range right it cannot be like uh, intermolecular force cannot activate at far distance okay so when like molecules or what drops comes closer then intermolecular force become quite like active and the water drops collapse easily and faster actually so you can say like when first thing is example you can say <coughs> force between uh, forces between molecules of water oil glass steel etc i mean like any one type of molecules we can categorize them as cohesive force more example for that when two water drops brought closer they collapse once touch right that is because of cohesive force so there are many example actually right so these are all like cohesive force simple term cohesive force means intermolecular force or it is the force between molecules of same medium is termed as cohesive force next is adhesive force second type is a d h e so it is the the intermolecular force between of different medium or you can say different types of molecules is simply called is right have you ever observed that uh, if this is a glass is it sometime you might have seen some water drops sticking here why because their water molecules are attracted by the glass molecules if it is made of glass or maybe made of steel then also it is attracted by steel molecule so there we can see there is force between water molecules and steel or glass molecules so this is the force between two type of particles two type of molecules or two medium that is termed as adhesive force is it all glues glue is it fabricol fabricric these are called cumulatively adhesives these are adhesive because these are used to fix to separate is it because like two papers we can't like fix them so they are like same medium but here you can say like uh, it's different thing so we need to fix them by one adhesive because it uh, the adhesive force between glue and the paper is more right so that's why it's able to fix them is it? so like a uh, photograph fixed on paper by gum or glue so yeah, this is one of the example and one more thing i am able to write on this board that is because of adhesive force between ink and water molecule uh, ink and board molecules is it on board 
due to adhesive force between ink molecule and board molecules right so that is also example of adhesive force so simple terms adhesive force it is the force it is the intermolecular force between molecules of different medium is termed as adhesive force glue fabric oil fabric oil, all these are example of adhesives right so that is about intermolecular force these are important to understand the concept called surface tension okay i will relate how it's important actually so right now you must be clear with this simple three terms intermolecular force it's simply force of attraction or repulsion between molecules we call that intermolecular force based on the type of molecules the intermolecular force is acting we categorize intermolecular force into two categories cohesive force adhesive force cohesive means simple force between molecules of same medium or same type of molecules we call that cohesive force adhesive force means intermolecular force between molecules of different uh, medium or different type of molecule is termed as adhesive force let's see the next part next okay so next let me define one term that is called free surface this will be used a lot in this chapter so what is called free surface it's basically one surface of liquid which is open to atmosphere on one side so let's consider this is a container and some liquid is filled in this container right so let's say this is the liquid now you can say there is one surface of liquid which will be in contact with this wall which will be in contact with the bottom which will be in contact with the this wall and so many other imaginary surface i can consider actually for liquid but this surface which is open to atmosphere on one side this is called free surface so you can say surface of liquid which is open to atmosphere or in contact with air on one side is called free surface okay all right so that is just one term let's try to understand what exactly happened at molecular level so molecular theory of surface tension then i will define surface tension also okay to understand this first i need to define molecular range What is molecular range? It is the maximum distance up to which intermolecular force of attraction is appreciable is called molecular range and another sphere of influence so sphere of influence a sphere with molecule at center and 
रेडियस इक्वल टू दिस मॉलिकुलर रेंज इज कॉल्ड स्फेयर ऑफ इंफ्लुएंस right so normally the range this molecular range is it's of the order of 10 to the power minus 9 meter so that we can understand so like molecule size we know it's like one atom size it's 10 to the power minus 10 something meter so molecular range it's the maximum distance up to which intermolecular force of attraction is appreciable means quite sufficient is called molecular range similarly sphere of influence so if let's say this is the molecular range r means if two molecules are placed at this much separation then the intermolecular force of attraction will be appreciable if i consider one molecule here at center and radius equal to this molecular range then this sphere is called sphere of influence okay so means what these things like what it's simply saying we can say the molecules which are lying in this range will apply molecular force of attraction on this molecule right the molecules which are lying beyond this molecular range of uh, sphere of influence will not be able to apply intermolecular force of attraction on this molecule they will be applying on other but not on this is it so we can say intermolecular force of attraction will be acting on the molecule by molecules lying in the molecular range that is the like same thing okay so that is molecular range and sphere of influence two terms about like molecular theory of uh, surface tension okay one point just about uh, for your information note we know actually like gravitational force electrostatic force they are like uh, inversely proportional to r square means they varies inversely to the square of distance between two molecules this is just for your information the intermolecular force force varies eighth power of the separation between molecules i mean like if i say f intermolecular it will be inversely proportional to r raised to power 8 that is just for your information not much important okay so let's understand exactly these are just few terms which we will need in this molecular theory of surface tension so let me explain you what is exactly that now okay let's continue with molecular theory of surface tension so we understood here two terms molecular radius and sphere of influence so let's consider this is a container and some liquid is filled in this container Okay, so we have here one container and which is filled with some liquid. And uh, let's say this is the free surface of the container. And I'm let's say taking P Q is the free surface of liquid. Free surface of liquid in the container. Okay. and i'm taking another surface you can take let's say this is rs 
So what is that? RS is another surface which is inside the liquid, but this distance is equal to molecular range. Okay. So consider another surface inside another surface RS inside liquid at distance PR equal to QS equal to molecular radius okay what it means now it's important so let's consider now different molecules inside so let me consider one molecule here let's say that is A another molecule here B another molecule let me consider here C and one molecule here D right so A molecule I will consider it like completely inside the liquid for like down B is exactly on, on surface RS C is somewhere in between and D is exactly on the free surface and let me check what are the different forces acting on molecule A, B, C, D okay pay attention these things are very important to understand surface tension properly so what is happening here let's say A is one molecule I mean like all the molecules lying in the nearby region will be applying force of attraction on this molecule in all side and what is the net force acting on this molecule can you just imagine it will be zero because on this A molecule equal amount of force of attraction or molecular force of attraction will be acting from all side so that's why you can imagine it will completely cancel out so net force acting on molecule A will be zero so A molecule is considered inside the liquid right and net force net molecular force of attraction on molecule A is zero so it is in equilibrium right so means I can say A will be equilibrium A molecule what about B molecule you can consider if I say uh, consider a sphere of uh, sphere influence is it a sphere having radius equal to molecular radius so let's say this is a sphere of influence right then what will be happening again almost same number of molecules will be lying on uh, on each side of molecule B so here you can say Yes, B molecule is lying a little bit uh, near the free surface, but still overall the situation of B molecule is just similar to A molecule. And here also you can see the number of molecules are like applying force downward. In all directions they will be equal, so net force acting on molecule B will be also zero. Right? So molecule B here also you can see the net intermolecular force of attraction on molecule B will be zero so it is also in equilibrium right okay next see on particle C what is happening to particle C so let me draw the 
molecular range or sphere of influence. So in this situation, you can see this is a, because uh, this is the radius of like molecular radius, but on the top it's like small. On the bottom it has like a lot of. So if I draw the sphere of influence, it will be something like this. This is sphere of influence. For C molecule. So now you can see actually for C molecule, the molecules which are lying below is more than lying above. Is it? So here downward molecule force will be like this, 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 this. But from the top you can just see the force will be less still. So overall on molecule C there will be little because downward force will be dominating upward force because of the molecules are lying in the upper part will be less so overall it will not be equilibrium and there will be net downward force little bit is it so the molecular force or intermolecular force of attraction force of attraction on molecule C will be more downward so net force is not zero and it is not in equilibrium. Let's just think more about the condition of sphere uh, particle D. So if I draw a sphere of influence for particle D, then it will be like this. Is it? This will be the sphere of influence for particle D. And for D, you can see easily there is a huge unbalance. Only downward force, no upward force. So if you just look at molecule D, then what will be the net force? There will be lot downward force. Is it? So here you can say on molecule the net downward force is very large very large means compared to other molecules is it large and it is unbalanced uh, I guess it's not in equilibrium So what will be the tendency of this molecule? Definitely it will be like its tendency will be to go inside because everyone, all the molecules lying in the nearby region of molecule D is everyone is trying to pull it down. Excluding this molecule, it will be like scratching it like this. So first thing is, what is happening? All the molecules which are lying on free surface will have net downward force. Every molecule will have tendency to go down they are like unbalanced, is it? They are being pulled downward. Understanding? So, because of this, we can understand few things about the nature of, of free surface. That molecules are trying to pull as many as molecules from the top free surface to inside. They want the molecules lying on free surface to be minimum. Understanding? What it means, means the tendency of molecules, water molecules or liquid molecule is to have minimum surface area. I hope you got my point. Is it? Because here you can see the molecule D. This is molecule C. 
this is for B and this is for A. So if you have sphere of influence, this is for A. So here you can see for D, net downward force is there because there is no upward force and it will be highly like unbalanced, unstable molecule. It will have large downward force. Understanding? First thing is like so what is happening? Other molecules like lying here, they will be like intermolecular force of attraction will be there between the, all the molecules lying on the surface. Now let's try to imagine what is happening exactly on the surface. So just consider this is pre-surface. Or this is just like a rope. So what is happening here? Molecules are there and they are being actually like each other, they are applying some force, so they are forming sort of like one string, right? But simultaneously, they are being applied, means a downward force is also active on them, right? Just consider this. So this is a string. Now, if a weight is hanging on it, W. Can you just imagine there will be tension in this string? It will slack a little bit. And there will be tension. Understanding? If some weight. This situation is something similar to this. Getting my point? So we are understanding thing is that the molecules which are lying on free surface every molecule is having net downward force it's in unequilibrium it's in it's not in equilibrium it is having net downward force so its tendency is to go always inside but because like uh, some molecule will be there so like definitely each molecule will be in similar situations is it but they will always try to go inside and it's, it, it's like unbalanced and these so because of this, what happened actually? This is just like that. There is a subsurface tension. So tension get developed in the free surface. Is it? Just like that. Here. So tension get developed in the free surface. And its tendency is to minimize the surface area. And we can measure it. If we are having something, we are trying to pull it. And those molecular force will, they will like even attract that. So this is something strange, which is like not inside. It's only the property of free surface. Remember that, is it? And that too, when it is at rest, because when molecules are in motion, then it will be like disturbed. It's sort of like breaking, is it? So molecules or liquid must be at rest. At that time, the free surface is having a special property. The property is that. The free surface of liquid is behaving like a stretched membrane. In this property of liquid is called surface tension. So this is what we can understand it at molecular level from molecular force, intermolecular force of attraction. Right? Now let me define exactly the surface tension. I hope you are clear. Here we define like uh, sphere of influence, molecular radius, and uh, these things. Is it uh, like A, B, C, D molecules? Different molecules have different like forces. A and B both are in equilibrium. C little bit net downward force, but D it's completely unbalanced. It completely, uh, you can say D is not in equilibrium. So it is having net downward force, and this is the situation of every molecule lying on the free side. So because of that, the free surface of liquid have some special property and we define that surface tensile. Let me erase this and tell you that. Okay, so we understood molecular theory of surface tension. This basically tells, explain the surface tension at molecular level. You will get it better once I explain you what is exactly surface tension. But what is exactly happening to each molecule of liquid? That must be clear by this molecular theory of surface tension. The conclusion of molecular theory of surface tension we can write is that the molecules lying on free surface of liquid have a net 
डाउनवर्ड फोर्स सो दी फ्री सरफेस ऑफ लिक्विड बी हैव लाइक ए स्ट्रैच्ड मेम्ब्रेन Okay, now let me come to point that is called surface tension. So it's already basically explanation of surface tension we already understood in the molecular theory of <coughs> surface tension. What is exactly surface tension? So surface tension is a property of liquid at rest. in which the free surface of a liquid behave like a membrane or stressed membrane and this property is called as surface tension and why it behave like a stressed membrane that must be already already clear from molecular theory of surface tension right so now i can define surface tension it is the property of liquid or you can say free surface of liquid is it of liquid at rest by virtue uh property or it is the property of liquid at rest in which its free surface we have like a stretched membrane is called this property of liquid is called stressed membrane uh just this property of liquid is called as surface tension so it must be even clear to you that why the free surface of liquid is behaving like a stretched membrane that must be clear from this molecular theory of surface tension so surface tension what is that this free surface is it so here you can see like each molecule it's having net downward force is it like this this and intermolecular force so it's like one sort of like a net is it where molecules are they are forming like intermolecular uh, molecular forces are there so in that these molecules are getting attracted and they are having net downward force so that's why some stretched membrane is there and this property where the free surface of liquid at rest is behaving like a stretched membrane this property of liquid is called surface tension now surface tension it will depends on what it is a property of liquid it will depends on the liquid and there are some factor also which influence this and uh, how we measure that surface tension let me define that too so basically it is a property it depends on liquid because the intermolecular force of attraction will change once you are changing the liquid and beside that it depends on temperature and if you are changing adding some impurities then effectively you are changing the liquid so it depends on impurities also and impurities added to liquid on these things these factors it depends actually right so okay let's talk about the measurement of surface tension next before okay so surface tension we understood its property of free surface 
by which its free surface uh, property of liquid by which free surface behave like a membrane let's consider this is liquid now what will happen actually here uh, for measurement if I just consider one an imaginary line is it let's say this is so what will happen actually all the molecules lying on these will be like this side there will be force and there will be net force on this side but net force on this line on this imaginary line line on free surface of liquid is it so if let's say net force acting on this imaginary line from one side is f is it and length is l okay if net force acting on the imaginary line on free surface of liquid of length l is f then we define f is equal to t into l and this implies t is called f divided by l this t is called surface tension so mathematically it is equal to force per unit length by the free uh, surface molecule is it it is equal to force per unit length by molecules of free surface of liquid right that is so unit will be like uh, of surface tension it will be newton per meter and one more thing because of the surface tension the property of liquid will be always to have minimum surface area because you must be clear with that also i just already told you but not i did not wrote that because every molecule is being pulled inside so it's trying to have minimum surface area minimum molecules on the surface right so the tendency of liquid due to surface tension is to have minimum surface area right that must be even clear that why it should because every molecule is being pulled inside so it's like tendency of liquid is to have minimum surface area and this is also one of the reason that if we are having let's say liquid of some volume v is it and it's in the air then what it will try it will try to minimize its surface area and for v volume if it is let's suppose different geometries it can attain sphere is it cube cuboid right and is cylindrical then out of all these available geometries the minimum surface area is only for sphere and that is the reason why all raindrops are spherical in shape so due to surface tension only the shape of drop or water drops or you can write rain drops is spherical because sphere is the only geometry for v volume which is having least area and because of surface tension it will try always try to have minimum area and when it is going for minimum area then always the volume will acquire spherical shape and that is the reason 
oil I mean like water drops raindrops all are having spherical shape so this is the the basic definition of surface tension we can consider many different practical cases or we can measure like, and we can have let's say idea about how much exactly surface tension force would be acting so let me just erase this part okay so mathematically we understood surface tension its property and its tendency why surface tension and because of surface tension what is the like tendency of liquid that is to have minimum surface area and it is always applying a force uh, on the free surface is it and uh, molecules which are lying on the free surface will have net downward force now let's consider this situation so here we are having uh, a container is it let's say this is a container which is filled completely with liquid okay and uh, now i am having one balance also and if i take let's say this is one this is a disk of radius r and on this side this is a balance now what will happen actually so this is a disc which is like let's say touching this is a free surface of liquid now what will happen actually so once it is touching this liquid now when it's like uh, you are trying to pull it then this liquid molecules will be like this they will be applying force like this so on this like disc there will be net downward force and to counter that we need to add some weight w so what will be the w weight so to balance it w weight is actually given by if t is the surface tension of this liquid then i will write w and r is the radius then it's equal to t because t is what surface tension per unit length and what will be the length of this that will be equal to 2 pi r multiplied by t this much weight will be required is it similarly let me give you different cases so you have let's say this is a again free surface of liquid and here we are having in this situation a needle let me take this as a little bit wide and here we have a needle okay so to lift it what will be the force what will be the force required because here now you must be understanding actually from both side there will be like uh, molecule these molecules I don't know whether uh, you are able to imagine it I can draw the magnified diagram for this so now what is happening actually okay just understand it if its length is L then here force required will be T surface tension multiplied by 2L let me explain it more uh, like clear so what is happening here just look at the front side of this so this is a free surface and this is the that needle okay so now the molecules will be like in this orientation they will try to pull it in this direction so on both side they will pull on this side they will pull on this side and this will be the force so if its total length is l then f in t into l will be on this side t into l will be on this side so net force f will be equal to 2t into l that will be the net force in this situation i hope you are understanding actually similarly in another case if we are having a thin ring right so in this situation what will let's say this is a then the mo what means molecules or liquid molecule they will like have force in this direction actually so when it's like uh, being pulled 
in this direction the force its radius is r surface tension of let's say this is a liquid filled in some container okay then here all the molecules will be like acting in this way so inner side and outside also so here force i will write it's t multiplied by 2 pi r plus 2 pi r because 2 pi r one is inner side and that is outer side so 2 2 pi r into t that will be the net force you need to apply to lift it to just balance it in equilibrium another case if we are having let's say <coughs> this guy already wrote that so similarly if you are having some square frame square plate okay so in that situation let's say this is a square plate so when we are lifting it then what will happen molecules water surface like liquid will be like applying force in this way at each of this boundary is it and let's say this is a complete can a container containing some liquid so when we are lifting it then t into l will be the force on this side t into l t into l and t into l so the force f required to lift f will be equal to t multiplied by l into 4 that will be the force so similarly in any situation if you are asked to calculate what will be the net balancing force net lifting force you will require i hope you should be able to answer that and you must be clear that why this force is acting and so these are different cases for the surface tension force here uh, see it let's say this is a container having i'm just trying to understand you if even in case you are not still clear with so what i am doing is that when we are lifting it let's say let me consider different so this is a okay a needle sort of like this when i am lifting then what is happening actually fluid part or liquid particle they will be on one side they will be like this side they will be pulling and on other side also there will be like force right so that's why we will have like net upward force here f will be equal to t multiplied by its if its length is l then into t into l and on other side t into l so that will be 2 t l will be the net force acting so this way these are different cases for surface tension force many more possibilities can be there you just go for a few examples you will be able to check and you should be able to understand so by this time you must be clear what is exactly like surface tension intermolecular force cohesive force adhesive force surface tension molecular theory of surface tension means why exactly at molecular level in how exactly at molecular level surface tension comes into existence because of surface tension what is the tendency of liquid tendency of liquid is to have always minimum surface area another thing is the total like uh, i mean free surface of liquid we have like a stretched elastic membrane or stretched stressed membrane this property is called surface tension and uh, have have you like uh, wondered actually that on like uh, if we just go for like iron needle on a water surface then definitely by the concept of fluid mechanics it's never possible that iron needle can float on water surface but actually it can float if we are placing it very gently on water surface then it can float actually and the reason for floating is because of surface tension and have you ever seen some mosquitoes walking or very small animals like is it uh, mosquitoes something similar to their size they can stand on water surface they do not dip submerged in the water surface that too the reason is because of 
surface tension so let's see let's continue from here onward in the next class thank you